How many times have you heard people say cliche motivational things or you hear, see motivational quotes, you see inspirational quotes, and you're like, that's a little cliche, that's a little cringy, I don't really know if I really believe that. That's the thing about a lot of these motivational quotes, that's a lot of things about motivation in general. They're tips to life, they're advice to life, and we should start following them. They're almost like rules to life that are gonna help our situation get better than the situation we're in right now. So instead of it being cliche, instead of it being all cringy, instead of it being like, oh, it is what it is, I don't really care about that you should start caring about it that's this is one thing that i really believe i really believe some of those motivational quotes some of those inspirational quotes are just these cliche sayings they're advice for life they're tips for life the rules for life to help you get out of the situation that you're in because people have left clues in the past you see all these successful people out here they leave clues they leave trails they leave breadcrumbs of how they got to the spot they're at and we all it all be stupid to not follow those tracks if that's the track you're trying to get on if you're trying to touch your success if you're trying to become a successful person if you're trying to be the best version of yourself there's people that left breadcrumbs there's people that leave trails of how to do it why not follow them that's why these quotes that's why you hear all these motivational saying these inspirational quotes and you hear them and people are really like that's cringy that's cliche it's, look at the position they're in they, they constantly refuse to listen to people's advice they don't listen to them and that's why the, their position of life that they're in isn't so fun and that's why you got to hear them complain all the time we don't want to hear all that and that's why this quote right here i kind of started living by it once I started my self-improvement journey. And it's so true. And I really need you to understand this. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. What does that mean? It's not just about being able to perform whenever you need to be able to perform. That's so huge. But the opportunities that come about your daily life. If you're not ready for those opportunities, those opportunities are going to pass you by and that should make you mad. That's something that I... One of my biggest regrets in life is not being ready for opportunities that are right there in, in front of you. Opportunities such as, let's say, a job opportunity to open up and a dream job that you've always wanted, but you're not ready for it. And then someone else has got that job. That opportunity passed you up and you're going to be like, dang, I was not ready for that situation. That's why you got, always got to be training. That's why you always got to be reading. That's why you always got to be prioritizing your health. That's why you always got to be prioritizing your and getting intelligent, becoming smart. You got to prioritize becoming the best version of yourself. And that doesn't just entail taking care of yourself. It entails being coming smart, taking care of all aspects of your life, making a priority list and knocking that priority list. Cause if you get an opportunity put in front of you, you better be able to take that opportunity, make that everybody's priority list is going to be different. So your priority list, you got to be able to knock those out. Start writing a priority list of things you need to be ready for. So if you get an opportunity right in front of your face, you're going to be able to grab it and get rolling and get moving towards that opportunity that you want to knock out of the park. Another thing is you can miss out on memories with friends. This goes into more of being in shape. Let's say you're out of shape and your friends are going to do something cool, but you are hiking up a crazy trail and you guys are going to make awesome memories or just situations in general with your friends. If you're not in shape, or if you're not don't have the finances for it you're gonna miss out on opportunities that you could be making lifelong memories with your friends and you're gonna be like damn i wish i didn't miss out this is why we got to stop looking at social media and watching everybody else's life and start being ready for the opportunities we have to make live life to live the one life that we have man this is ours stay ready so you don't have to get ready man it's so important it's not cliche it's not cringy it's not whatever you want to call it start listening to it man start listening to these tips start listening to these rules start listening to these advice because they're going to help you you get out of the position that you're in another thing too is <clears throat> so you can travel too right let's say you, like this goes back into finances let's say all your friends are going on an awesome place to an all-inclusive resort in mexico or punta cana wherever you want to go the dominican republic hawaii wherever you're trying to go all your friends are going but you can't go because your finances were in the right position you got to stay ready in all areas of your life. Priority list. This is what I mean about making a priority list. Things you want to be ready for. Is my How is my education looking right now? Am I getting smarter? Am I reading? Am I becoming more intelligent in that branch of areas that I want to grow in? Business, science, math, sports, whatever you're looking forward to. Make a priority list. Get smart in that area. Start getting in shape. So this way you're always ready to perform. And by performing, I mean, what if situation, someone broke in your house, are you ready to perform? Are you in shape? Can you defend yourself? Can you defend your family? This is all includes staying ready so you don't have to get ready. Being ready is important. Stop delaying that. Stop procrastinating and just go for it. You have to be ready. Otherwise, opportunities are going to miss you. Memories are going to miss you by. And you're going to sit at the end of your life one day and you're going to be like, dang, 
I let a bunch of opportunities, a bunch of memories, a bunch of things pass me by because I wasn't ready. You have to be ready. Stop procrastinating and get moving and start working on yourself. When you don't have things to do and you're bored, start work, working on yourself. Start working on things that can make you a better person, things that are going to prioritize your life and things that are going to elevate you. So I promise you, you're gonna, your situation is going to be a lot better than it is right now. It's your boy T. I hope you were able to get the message in today's video. Just like all my videos, there's a message in there. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel please keep helping this channel grow grow i really appreciate you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys soon peace